I've been wondering if I shouldn't remarry. I've seen how you and that elf look at each other. I'm sure the last thing you need is your mother watching over your shoulder every time you come home. If I may say so, I don't think Mistress Merrill is exactly, um, comfortable staying in the estate. She's pretty. She still goes to the alienage often, usually when you're not home. Something draws her there. I can't imagine what. Still, my boy and I do like her very much. Just thought you should know. Isabella, my dusky goddess, you have buried yourself in the flesh of my heart like a worm in a red, red apple. You heartworm you. Oh, look, my friend is here. Excuse me. But I haven't gotten to the part where I invite you to feast upon my tender white flesh. That's all right. I think I'll manage. Speaking of romance, you're interested in Merrill, aren't you? I'm that obvious, am I? Well, that's good. She always seemed a little lonely. I get the feeling the girl's messing in something big and dangerous. Look out for her, will you? Make sure she doesn't hurt herself. Oh, and if you do anything nasty to her, I'll cut off your balls. Oh, Hawk. Come in. I was just... Am I crazy? Yes, but in a good way. I thought the rule in a home would fix everything. The mirror would work and everything would be right again. But I keep dreaming of Paul's face. Everyone that I care for thinks I'm a monster. It's hard to imagine someone more lovable than you. That's so untrue. I can think of someone. I... You've been so good to me. Someday I'll make this up to you, Letheline. Hawk, I need... a favor that I can only trust to you. Oh? This should be good. It should be a small matter, but I worry. I need you to give something to Guardsman Donick, here in the barracks. No questions, and he is not to know it's from me. If that's all you need, I'll walk the hundred feet to him. Thank you, and please hurry back with his reaction. I appreciate this, Hawk, I really do. Guardsman Donick. I have it on good authority that you are going to enjoy this. Am I now? It's a copper relief of... Marigolds? Ah, and it helpfully says so. Marigolds. Well, how crafty. Is there a meaning to this that I should know? Possibly... Here, you throw this away? Well, it certainly conveys that. Why did Aveline want us to give him that? You're back. Of course you are. You're efficient. Get things done, good or ill. So, how did Donick react? To your garbage, you mean? I thought it was clear. Metal is strong, copper ages well, flowers are soft. I've clearly gone about this the wrong way. Don't talk to him again. Just take this, the patrols, for next week. Post it to the roster and just... listen. All right. Posting the roster just over there. Thank you. This is weird, right? Donick thinks I'm punishing him. But Hightown is a safe patrol, a reward. You wanted his reaction. All right. I can fix this. I need... I need three goats and a sheaf of wheat. You'll take them to his mother. It's a dowry tradition. Maybe it will smooth the process. Don't be silly. A dowry would only matter if you were courting him. Oh, Meryl. Oh, <gasps> you're courting him! How exactly did you think this mess would work? I don't know what I thought. I've been focused on being captain for so long, that's all I know. But you've done it before. Uh, um, I mean, been married. And that was a long time ago. It was easier, or seemed to be. 
I can't imagine you having trouble speaking your mind. It's just fear. I know it's foolish, but I can't get away from it. And what about you and Meryl? She's all but daring the Fae to take her. How do you live with that danger? Maybe we're not the best example. But you understand. I feel paralyzed. I hate it. Being in the barracks doesn't help. Go somewhere you can talk. What? Just go out somewhere? Like it's that easy? Tell Donick. Invite him to the Hanged Man. I... I couldn't do it. What did he say? He thinks I arranged this to get to you. I'm an idiot. Admitting it is a good step. Where are you heading next? The barracks, Ferelden, the deepest hole I can find. You've never been the hiding type. I know, all right, but I freeze up. The only place I'm not a mess is on patrol. And killing high women doesn't afford much opportunity for banter. Come on. You want this. I will not risk. But look at you two. You can't ignore advice from such a stable source. Well, guardsman, good patrol. I think we're done, and I... Hawk, what a surprise. What are you doing here? Aveline. Hawk, don't. Would someone please tell me what's going on? You two are adorable. Kiss him already. Captain? Ah. Uh. I should get back to the barracks. I've got something for you. Oh, did you get this from Master Island? Mythal, did I miss some important occasion? I'm so sorry, I'll make it up to you, I promise. I think I missed the elvish sign for this present induces terrible guilt. I'll shop more carefully in the future. I... of course. You're just being thoughtful. No one has ever given me a present before. Useful things. Tools or clothes. Because I needed them, not... just because. Maseranus, I'll find a good place for this. I was hoping you'd come. You did so much for my Fenriel already, but... I visited him among the people, but he turned me away. I know the demons still plague him. And now they've taken him. Two days ago, Fenriel went into a nightmare and hasn't returned. So you're what? Hoping I can yell really loudly in his ear, maybe give him a good shake? I'm hoping you can reach him. You made a strong impression when you rescued him from the slavers. My Dalish friends tell me he speaks of you all the time. The Keeper says Fainriel's powers are a throwback to ancient magics that once let elves shape the Fade. The only way to reach him is through his dreams. Fade's a big place, you know. Got any landmarks? Marith Harry is coming to perform the ritual that will bring Fainriel back. I came quickly, Ariane. I did not wish to tell you by letter how grave your son's situation is. Just send me into the Fade. I told you he was amazing. Now, Ariane, please excuse us. We must prepare. Oh, of course. There is more, I must tell you, that is not for her ears. You're really not my type. This is a serious matter. Can I come? I'd love to see the ritual. And I promise I, I won't be a bother. Is this the temple of old? What an awful thing to dream about. Come. Fainriel must be trapped further in. Well, it's rare to see two forgotten magics in one day. It's usually a slow place, the Fade. Not many surprises. I wasn't sure I'd like this one, but it has potential. A sloth demon. Think active thoughts, like running and jumping and such. Call me Torpor. I have a proposition that might interest you. Speak, but I promise nothing. 
I trust you're here for the mage, Fainriel. Two of the most powerful demons in this realm are vying for control of him. Sadly, I'm no warrior. I couldn't stand up to them. But if I did, I'd only want the boy's power to secure my position in the Fade. I'd be no threat to your world. I'm not sure we should be doing this. But wouldn't that give a demon an open door into our world? That's bad, right? Bring me Fainwheel, and I will grant you anything you ask. Power, magic, money, the strength of ten men. I will not give in to temptation, fiend. Have it your way. You're not the keeper. Be gone, fiend. You. Why did you interfere? With my power joined to his, Fainreel would have changed the world. Have you ever seen an abomination? They are ugly. You put such stock in appearances. Perhaps that is why your friend's loyalty only goes skin deep. You think this elf, with her innocent face, would turn down a demon's offer? She didn't before. How about it? Would you take what I offered the boy? Scion of the Dalish, savior of elvenkind. Can you do that? I am the greatest of my kind. Whatever tricks your little pet has taught you will pale in comparison. All right, when he puts it that way. I cannot put you ahead of the fate of my people. You took my dreamer. Now you'll take his place. Fainriel has mastered his powers. Then he lives. He must go elsewhere to train. There is no one in Kirkwall to help him. He asked me to say goodbye. I truly did not think what you did was possible. You are a rare human indeed. You have my apologies. It is easy to forget that one cannot bind demons with words. Your friend awakened here some time ago. No one is immune to a demon's offer. I... I can't believe I turned on you. With the demon in the Fade, I'm so sorry. Masaranas. I'll understand if you can't forgive me. If I held a grudge against everyone who attacked me in a dream, I'd have no friends. How do you do that? Make everything better with a smile. It's like magic that doesn't get you in trouble. I've been so careful in all my dealings with spirits until now. To make such an obvious mistake. It frightens me. It takes so little for a mage to fall. What do you do to protect yourself from demons? The Keeper taught me. In the Fade, you must believe nothing but yourself. Everything there is a lie, or a trick, or a trap. I knew not to trust, and I don't know why I did. What made you give in? It felt like every word the demon spoke reached out and pulled at my heart. I didn't want to believe it, but I just... had to. So, you know the demon thing is crazy, and you do it anyway. Just as long as you're worried about it. All magic is dangerous. It always attracts attention. All mages know this. Thank the creators you were there. It won't happen again. I'll make sure of that. You and Hawk. Something's there, isn't there? He's clever, strong, wonderful. How could anyone not love him? Oh, I could give you a list, but that might just bore you. So, did you get naked? Isabella! Oh, look at that blush. That good, huh? <laughs> 